It is 2.30 a.m. in Ubud, Bali, and we are getting ready for our hike up Mount Batur with the aim of reaching the top in time for sunrise at 6.30 a.m. Mount Batur is one of many active volcanoes in Indonesia and part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. Standing at 1,717 meters above sea level, it takes around two to three hours to reach the summit. The starting point of the trek is at a parking lot near the Pura Chati Patur temple. As you can see, it's a popular activity, so we can expect the hike to be quite busy. Torches are essential. The trek is pretty straightforward and not too challenging, taking us through various landscapes, only allowing us to catch glimpses of the surroundings in the darkness. The lights create a beautiful illuminated trail to the top of the mountain. On the way up, we'll come across cracks where we can feel the geothermal activity with hot steam escaping from below. Walking along the crater's edge where more steam rises, the clouds and the dramatic pink skies make it a truly mystical experience. It can be quite chilly at the summit before sunrise, so it's a good idea to bring extra layers to keep warm while waiting for the sun to come up. As the sun breaks through, the fog gradually lifts, unveiling stunning views of the surrounding caldera, Lake Batur and the nearby volcanoes, Mount Abang and Mount Agung. This is also when all the long-tailed macaques come out. The volcano sits between two concentric calderas with a crater lake that contains Lake Batur. The hike down is just as breathtaking and offers an entirely different experience, revealing the full scenery in daylight with its lush vegetation. There are several spots where you can see the steam rising from the mountain. There are also several hot springs in the area that you can enjoy afterwards. 
meant but to its rich volcanic soil makes the region incredibly fertile, an ideal location for agriculture. We're back down and it's only 8.30am. We have the full day ahead of us, although I might want to have a nap in between to catch up on some sleep. It is a magical hike and isn't too challenging, with amazing views along the way. Despite all the people, it was a wonderful experience and is a great entry-level trek before climbing some of the more challenging volcanoes in Indonesia. Stay tuned for the upcoming video where we'll climb Mount Rinjani.